Hey guys, video number six. Uh, what we're going to do in this one is we're going to show you how a fill function works. Um, what we have to do here is we have, we're going to have to create a new tag. So I'm going to create a new tag and in this one I'm going to call it B integer. All right. Now, if I wanted to create a bunch of tags, I, I wouldn't want to sit here and create 50 or, you know, 50, 60, 100 different tags. One way that I can do it is I can make a bracket, pick a, an amount, and bracket again right here. And what this is going to do is going to create 20 different dents at one time. And you can see it. It's right here. B0. There's 20 dents here now. Instead of making just one, like I did right here, there's 20 of them total. All right. So now I'm going to go to my main routine. I'm going to add a rung. This time I'm going to make uh, When my yellow light comes on, I am going to fill a value, uh, and it can you can put in a real value, or you can get that value from someplace else. into my B integer starting at zero for a length of 20. And that's going to fill all of them at one time. So let's download this. You'll see that this is not on right now. Let's check our controller tags. Here's my B integers. See, they're all zero. So if I go back to my program, when I hit the start, the stop will be on. It'll turn on the latch. The latch will hold itself in. This latch will come on, turning on the green light. This latch will go off, turning off the red light. Um, this one will come on, and enter A0. If it comes on by having a 1 in A.0, it will turn on the yellow light, and the yellow light will move a value of 100 into 20 different integers. So I'm going to hit the start button. You'll see that it came on. We will go look at the controller tags. We look at the uh, the B, and there it is. It moved a what the value of 100 into all of those. Now, if I hit the stop, once it moved it in there, it is going to stay. It's not going to come back out of there. If I want to clear it back out, uh, I would have to add some type of logic to my program. Let's go offline. Let's add a run. And let's copy this instruction and paste it. Um, we'll grab another fill. Uh, 
Uh, this time, just to show you what it's doing here, I'm only going to fill half of them. So this time the fill will put a zero starting at B10 integer for a length of 10. All right. Communication. Who active. Download. Um, I got one little mistake here. I want to make this an off. So this one, uh, let's go into run mode. You'll see, let me check the tags, look at my B's, go to monitor, okay, there's the zeros in there, and let's go back to the main routine. I'm going to press start. The yellow light came on. And it moved a 100 into every one of the registers because of the yellow light being on. Now when the yellow light is off, it is going to fill a zero starting at B10 for a length of 10. And I can make my yellow light go off and you should see from right here on down should go to a zero when I press the stop button. There they are. So this information was put in there and since it was not changed it's going to stay. This information did change because the yellow light not being on filled a zero into B10 for a length of 10. And that is how a fill function works. Uh, next video we'll cover uh, copy instructions and we'll eventually get into timers, counters, uh, and all the bits associated with those.